My studio is starting to look and sound great, but there's one little thing that makes all the difference compared to my old studio. So let me give you a quick tour, show you what I've done so far, lighting, audio, camera, because you know, it might give you some inspiration and ideas for your home studio. Okay, so no chit chat today, no jokes, super valuable information only. Mm, I don't know if I should make promises like that, but anyway, I'm gonna try. The first thing I love about my new studio is the gear wall back there. And I got the inspiration for that gear wall from Peter Lindgren. Thank you for that, Peter. Now, one of the reasons why I also wanted a gear wall is space. You save so much space by putting your gear on the wall. And it also looks super cool, so it's a win-win. Now, some of you have mentioned in the comments that gear exposed like that will get dusty, but honestly, it doesn't. My gear has been hanging there for a few months now and it just doesn't get dusty. I guess it depends on how dusty the room is that your studio is in. and. This room doesn't seem to be very dusty, so there you go. Okay, and then we have sound treatment. And if you want to hear what this room sounded like before, I'll link some videos in the description. And also all the gear that I'm showing you, that I'm using here, links in the description. But anyway, so it doesn't sound perfect yet, but then again, I'm not building a sound recording studio, so it doesn't really have to sound perfect. But the difference with what it sounded like before is huge. So what have I done so far? Sound panels in front of me on the wall, a bass trap in the corner and acoustic foam on the ceiling. And all of that combined makes a huge difference. And I think one of the reasons that it doesn't sound perfect yet is because there's no carpet on the floor. But there's a reason for that, an important reason. And I'll show you later why. The room by the way is three and a half by four meters. I don't know what that is in feet. 12 by 10, something like that. But okay, so gear wall, sound treatment, next is camera and lighting setup. In front of me is my Sony a7S III connected to a small monitor because that makes it easier to see if everything looks okay. The Godox SL60W with a 120 centimeter softbox is my key light. In the back is the Amaran P60X that I use as a rim light. And then also in the background some blue light and some extra lights to brighten up the dark areas. And of course my latest addition, the LED lightning bolt. And all these lights are super cheap LED lights by the way. Oh and the audio, right. This is an Octava MK12 microphone that runs into a Zoom H5 recorder. And that's about it. And then now the pièce de résistance as they call it. What if I get tired of this background? Or maybe I want to record a video that requires a different type of background? Well, let me just show you. And boom, different background. How awesome is that? I put wheels under this table and I'm so glad that I came up with that idea. I mean, it's not my idea, plenty of people probably put wheels under a table, you know, but I'm so glad that I did it because it makes my studio so super flexible right now. I use this table for talking head videos, but also product videos, product b-roll, and I can move it around however, wherever I want now. If I need a different background, I love it. I'm also sitting on a stool with wheels, which is super comfortable if you're doing product shots or a product video because you don't have to stand up all the time arched over the table. That's pretty bad for your back. I'm not getting old. It is bad for your back, even if you're young. But yeah, so I love the fact that I have wheels under my table. It's the, it's, my, it's the favorite thing about my studio. The only thing I still have to do is buy some C-stands with wheels for my key light, microphone, rim light, you know, that I can also move those around easily. Because right now, I can't. I mean, I can, it's not that difficult, but if they're also on wheels, it would make everything a whole lot easier. But yeah, guys, it's great. A table on wheels. And these wheels, of course, have brakes, so it's not like this table is moving around all the time. Once you put on the brakes, it feels like a normal table. And I built it myself, you can do it also, just get the stuff from the hardware store or order it 
and build your own table. It's not that difficult. Get a table on wheels for your studio. You won't regret it. Thank you so much for watching guys and see you in the next one. Woo!